Hello YouTube, in this video we're going to be making a really cool ring. You can see right here I've got a black ceramic ring blank. These are really cool and they I'll show you how it compares to my carbon fiber ring. It's just really dark and then ceramic's also really lightweight just like carbon fiber and it's also extremely scratch resistant so it's really hard to scratch one of these. And what we're going to be doing is adding an inlay that includes some meteorite fragments. I've got them in this little vial here. It's held on there with a magnet. And then we're also going to add some shavings in there just to add a little more, just some interesting details to it. And then we're going to add this black glow powder. And what we've done here is we used green glow powder. So just this right here. I can get it glowing for you using just a UV light. And then I'll turn off this overhead light so you can see it better. There you can see that glowing. And then I'll show you how this compares. It's never as bright when you add color pigment to it. So you can see that. And so that's um, one of the downsides to doing black rings, is because black rings especially need a lot of pigment to it to make it black rather than just a charcoal color. Um, but here's all these color pigments I've got. And once again, like I say in every single one of my videos, I have links in the description to anything that you see me use. And if it's something weird that you see me use that I don't have in the description, let me know in the comments. And I am really good at getting back to you there. Or other viewers might be helpful as well. Um, but here's all these glow pigments. All I did was I got the black powder. And then I added this green glow powder into this vial. And then I mixed it until I got that. It's a pretty dark gray color. If I add more black powder to it, it's not going to make it very darker, but it's going to diminish the glow. And then once we add the cyan acrylate glue to this, it's going to make it a lot darker, just like how if you get something wet, it looks darker. Same thing here. So you don't need this to be black. Just make it a nice gray color. So yeah, this should be a really cool ring. It'll. I think the results are going to be amazing. Just a really stealthy... Um, ring that has just kind of that secret glow to it that you only see at night and then the meteorite to it I think meteorites are just way cool. So that is just another Detail that's gonna make this ring really cool So I'm just gonna jump over to the lathe and we'll start making this
All right, here the ring is finished. I'm actually really impressed with the way this one turned out. I really like just the stealthy look it has. Even the meteorite in it, if it's not reflecting the light, it still goes pretty well unnoticed. And so if you have it on your finger, it's just a really dark ring with just some very subtle details that really help show up. And then if I turn off the light here, here, I'll charge it a little bit with the flashlight. These UV lights work really well, or you can just use the sun. You can see it glowing just a little bit there. It's still pretty bright in here, but I have my camera's settings down to be pretty dark. There you can see it glowing a little bit. So yeah, there it is all finished. It's super lightweight, ceramics really scratch resistant, and so this will be a ring that will last a really long time and still look really good. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. If you have any questions for me, you can just leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you, and then I'll just show a bunch of photos and videos of it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks!